guys, thanks for tuning in to Coach's Corner. I'm your host, Brielle Jumbla, and today we're here with the golf coach, Coach Carlisle. How are you today? I'm wonderful. How are you doing, legendary or uh, interpreter or whatever I'm you doing great. Good. Um, your team recently competed at the Wexford Invitational. Can you take us through that round by round? How'd they do? Well, uh, very hard golf course, a pretty good Division One field. Weather was terrible. We didn't finish the uh, second round as was planned the first day. I had to come back. Finished three holes the uh, second day, and the third round got round, uh, rained out. Got off to a bad start. We were 16th. We went from 16th to second place in 15 holes. Had a tremendous round going concerning the weather. We were seven under par as a team. And then we came out the next morning and played the last three holes and just dropped a whole bunch of strokes, made a bunch of big numbers early. And uh, we dropped back to like fifth place, I believe it was. So with the weather, do you think that kind of helped having that day off? Um, and then coming back? Not at all. No. No, it, if we could have finished that second round, we would have finished no worse than second, possibly would have even won. So You had a couple players finish in the top 20 overall. How do you think each competed as only a couple of players were under par? Well, they weren't very happy with the way they finished. Uh, so, I mean, they they had a good round going, just weren't able to finish the second day. It's just we just laughed about it and, you know, went on. Yes, sir. Um, next week, your team is hosting the Cleveland, Cleveland Golf Palmetto Intercollegiate. Um, who are some of the big teams that are going to be competing? We've got a real good Division I field, uh, Clemson, South Carolina, Virginia, Maryland, Wisconsin, Idaho, Georgia, Georgia State, GRU, excuse me, uh, Georgia Southern. Uh, good, good Division I field. They have a great sponsor in Cleveland Golf. Golf course is spectacular at Palmetto. This time of year, great support from the community and all of our uh, members out of Palmetto Golf Club. So we've got everything set for a great collegiate event. Now, what are your thoughts on your team um, for this upcoming tournament? We just, first of all, we like to be good hosts and put on a good show, which we do. And then, of course, we want to play well. It's our only chance to play at home. All you other sports, you play at home all the time. Everybody right. gets an opportunity to see you. This is our only time. So we like to play well, and uh, we know the golf course well, so it's an advantage for us. So, and it's a good, strong, competitive field, a Division One team. So uh, we got to play well, play best, and put our knowledge of the golf course to its best use to be able to do well. Last year, last year your team finished in a tie for six on your home course. What does that? What does your team need to do to finish higher this year? Play a little bit better, maybe uh, finish a little bit better. <laughs> Probably it. <laughs> this is your 18th year of your home tournament. What was the most impressive individual performance by a pacer that you remember? A um, couple of good ones. Roberto Diaz won the individual one year. He shot like 76, 65, came back. And then Aaron Black, a few years back, won the individual. Um, making He had to make a putt on the last hole to win. He beat out a couple guys who are on tour right now to do that. That and Matt Atkins also won the individual a few years ago for a low score, beat out a couple current tour players. So I believe those three guys, Aaron and Roberto and Matt, would be our top individual finishes. Okay, well, thank you so much for your time. I'm your host, Burel Junglet, and thank you for tuning in. To legendary Coach's Corner. <laughs> interviewer, right? No. Yes, you're legendary. <laughs> thank you for tuning in to Coach's Corner. <laughs>